G'day guys, it's Rob from TAT. Just a quick one today. We're gonna to show you how to check a Hall Effect type cam sensor with an oscilloscope. So stick with us. So today we've got a 2008 Jeep Wrangler with a 3.8 liter and it's got a P0344, which is an intermittent cam signal. Now we haven't had the vehicle fail while we've had it in, but I wanted to take the opportunity just to show you how to check a Hall Effect type cam sensor with a simple oscilloscope. So we have our little oscilloscope here. Sorry, I had that upside down. That's a little U-scope from AES Wave. And we're just gonna turn that on. We've got our cam sensor at the front here. It's a Hall Effect three type, uh, three wire type sensor. So we know we're gonna have a power, we're gonna have a ground and we're gonna have a signal wire. Now, it's not super necessary to, to know which one's which. Um, at the end of the day, you just wanna get it out and just put your uh, scope in and just have a look and see what you find. You, you may find there's something missing when you know that there should be a power, or should be a ground. I mean, generally the middle wire is going to be the signal wire, but it is not always the case. So don't take that for granted. So I'm gonna go start the car up and uh, set this up and we'll go one at a time with a single channel and let's see what we get. So as you can see here, uh, our first wire on the left appears to be our signal wire, so we can just we can break that down a little bit and see that a little bit clearer. So we can see we've got our signal working very, very well. We can reduce that time, and obviously we can see more on the screen. So we know we've got a signal. So if we know we've got a signal, we know we've got a good power on ground. So we just look at where that height is. We were two two volts per division, so we know that that's going to be our five volt signal there. But just for the sake of it, for the purpose of this video, let's have a look at the other wires. So you can see the noise at the bottom there on the zero line, that is our ground. We know that's our ground wire, if I take that off. And then if we go to, I can't see very well to be honest with you. And there we go, that's the third wire, and we've got our 5 volt signal. So, if you're not sure that that middle wire is a ground, obviously you, you can't tell 100%. You can move the, obviously, we've got our negative connected to the battery, so you can move that around to the positive and then go back to this wire, and then we'll be inverted, we'll get a minus 5. So, super simple test 5 volt signal, 5 volt power and our ground so we know we've got a working sensor at the moment the vehicle's not failing and obviously i just wanted to show you how we could do this test so yeah hopefully that helps so there you go guys hopefully that makes sense and shows you how invaluable uh, a little oscilloscope can be you can get super cheap ones with one channel and they're really great for checking things like this so hopefully this helps you out if you get a vehicle like this in or if you get a cam sensor code you quickly rule out or rule in what is going on with the vehicle Thanks for watching. See you next time.